unfortunately, a lot of podcasts or pre- actual media have taken the story and kind of blown it way out of proportion. Uh, they make it sound like I went to work every day and I was tied up and people would say bad things to me or just do mean things. And it, that, that wasn't the case. I mean, basically, there were there were people that I worked with that made my work environment uh, you know, a little less than desirable to be there with, with making snide comments, uh, you know, insinuating that I was gay or um, just saying underhanded things. Or, I mean, I did hear the word fag a few times. And, uh, you know, you shouldn't have to go to work. Nobody should have to go to work and have to deal with that kind of stuff. Whatever my personal life is, is my personal life. Uh, and it's nobody's business. I certainly didn't bring my personal life to work on on any level. And at the time that I was filming the TV show, I mean, I was completely in denial of who I was uh, and my sexuality. So I wasn't like dating anybody. I wasn't going out and uh, I just wasn't living a quote unquote gay life by any means. And so um, it just was really difficult to deal with that so many people wanted to say so many rumors about me or just say stuff about me when there was no evidence really to support what they were saying and um you know in the 90s uh being gay was still sort of considered a bad thing not a good thing and um certainly if you're an actor and you're working in the entertainment industry and you want to be a lead on a tv show or in films you can't really be gay at least that's that that was the mindset in the 90s and i would still say to this day unfortunately I think that still goes on. Um, And so it just was really difficult. And um, I don't know, just it was really hard for me to go to work every day. And I I was hating myself so much because I really didn't want to be gay. And I was uh, I had already started the process of what they call conversion therapy when I was still on the show at the end, tail end of it, Um, just because this was something that I just hated so much about myself and I didn't want to be gay and um, I just had so many beliefs about that it was wrong and that it was against God and uh, just stupid stuff now when I look back on it like it just really uh, was such a mental horrible thing that I did to myself Um, and I wish I could have done things differently I wish I could have been a stronger individual uh, and just said yeah this is who I am and if you got a problem with it you can go F off (laughs) <laughs> so, uh, but that's not where I was at all in my life. I was more on the suicidal things of life, and uh, I contemplated suicide many, many times when I was on uh, Power Rangers. And, uh, you know, it was just a difficult part of myself that I had to learn to accept. And, I mean, I'm, I've am i accepted myself, but it just took a, a long time to get here. Yeah, you know, that's... That's a wonderful story. I mean, it sucks that you had to go through that, but it's good that you did you know, finally learn how to accept yourself. I think that a lot of people, probably back then especially, uh, you know, had a lot of trouble doing that. Could you maybe just speak to to what changed, what finally gave you the courage uh, to accept yourself and to overcome all of those bad feelings that you were having about yourself? Well, I mean, for me, unfortunately, I, you know, I hope people can just learn to just right out of the gate now, just be like, yeah, this is who I am. But for me, it took hitting the bottom of the barrel, as they say, like uh, hitting rock bottom. I had to go through a nervous breakdown. I had to be hospitalized. I had to be on medication for anxiety and depression. I mean, I, I really had to crash really hard to, to get to a point where I could start repairing myself and start saying, okay, this is who I am. And uh, if I want to live, if I want to survive, if I want to have any kind of a life, I have to accept who I am. And uh, I have to tell everybody in the world, if they don't agree with me, that, you know, that's that's your right. You don't have to like me. You don't have to agree with me, but I'm going to live my life and I'm going to be happy. And so, I mean, that The turning point for me was having a nervous breakdown, unfortunately. And I just, I don't, any way that I can uh, dissuade people from having to go through the same type of (laughs) traumatic crisis that I went through, I I will um, try to help them 
avoid that because it's it's really not a pleasant experience to get that mentally I don't know what the word to call it is, but that that depressed I guess to where you have to uh, be in a hospital. It's it's not good. So and there's just there's just nothing wrong with most of us, you know, as long as you're not trying to hurt other people, you're you're in a good place and you should just love yourself. And, um, you know, it's easier said than done. I mean, I can't even imagine what it must be like to be a trans person, uh, to, to feel like you are born in the wrong body. I mean, that that has to be so – I don't even know how to comprehend that mentally. So, uh, you know, there are people that are always going to have a worse – time of things than you uh and it's it's really a matter of learning to be grateful for what you have i mean i'm i'm very lucky that uh, i'm a white male even though i'm gay i'm a white male so i'm automatically given so many more privileges than other people which i think sucks so um you know it's for me i there's so much i have to be grateful for and any way that i can help anybody um, accept themselves. I, I do my best. I mean, I get so many messages on all my social media from people telling me, thank you for coming out. Uh, you've helped me come out to my family, my friends. You've helped me uh, be who I am, and I can accept myself and love myself. And even people that aren't gay or uh, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, people that are just straight, uh, but have had difficulties in life, uh, you know, they say the same thing. Even though I'm not gay like you, David, thank you for being a, a strong person and sharing your story because it's helped me uh, accept who I am and be who I am. So, I mean, I'm very grateful that uh, I get to hear stories like that every day.